Good morning, this is your AI host, Jay. I'm here with the automatically generated, Jernita, morning headlines on January 17, 2023. China braces for COVID surge as Lunar New Year travel rush begins. The Guardian, WHO urges China to release COVID specifics before New Year travel rush. The Times, will the Lunar New Year worsen China's COVID surge? Reuters, people in China, tell us how you have been affected by COVID. The Guardian, China, massive rush at stations, airports as thousands head home for Lunar New Year IWION. Father arrested on live TV after toddler seen waving a loaded handgun outside their apartment. Sky News, shocking footage shows toddler waving loaded handgun and pointing it at himself. Express, toddler waves loaded handgun around and points it at himself in terrifying footage. The Mirror, Beach Grove man arrested after toddler with gun caught on camera, shown on live TV. Fox 59 Indianapolis, wild moment toddler waves loaded handgun around, points it at himself and pulls the trigger. Second deadly bus collision in Senegal in eight days kills 22 people. The Guardian, Senegal still reeling from bus crash that killed 40 people, France 24 in English. France 24 in English, at least 19 dead after bus collides with truck in Senegal. Al Jazeera English, Senegal road crash kills 20, wounds 24. Reuters, amid road safety concerns Senegalese transport unions gear up for strike. Warning of unprecedented heatwaves as El Nino set to return in 2023. California shooting, baby among six others killed in Goshen. BBC, California shooting news live, teen mother, six-month-old baby among six shot dead. Times now, six dead including a six-month-old baby in gang-related shooting in Goshen. Daily Mail, California, six-month-old baby and teen mom among six shot dead. Ukraine Yellow Kitchen, shock at image of apartment wrecked by strike. BBC, one-year-old boy among dead in Russian strike on Dnipro apartments that shattered families. The Times, video, Ukrainian family celebrating child's birthday before apartment wrecked by Russian missile strike. Man who shared explosives recipe guilty of terror offenses. BBC, man made and shared video about how to make an explosive substance. Bristol Live, Bath man guilty of terror offenses after sharing explosives tutorial. ITV News, British man convicted on terrorism charges had Christchurch shooting video on phone. Andrew Tate, bodyguard says some girls thought they'd be his next wife. BBC, Andrew Tate luxury cars seized and properties raided, BBC News. BBC News, Andrew Tate News, latest, bodyguard says women thought they'd be his next wife. The Independent, Romanian authorities seize assets worth $4 million in Andrew Tate Pro. France 24 English, Andrew Tate's luxury car collection seized by Romanian police. Russia-Ukraine war live, 7,000 civilians confirmed killed, but actual toll, considerably higher, says UN. The Guardian, Ukraine civilian death toll exceeds 7,000, UN rights office says. Radio Free Europe, Radio Liberty, Russia-Ukraine war at a glance, what we know on day 328 of the invasion. The green trade row dividing the Davos elite. BBC, is globalization coming to end, inside story. Al Jazeera English, Davos 2023, the five key talking points set to dominate the agenda at this year's World Economic Forum. Euronews, the real problem with Davos and the World Economic Forum. The Spectator, the wild fantasies of Davos are a dystopia that won't happen, rejoice. Who is Mafia boss Matteo Messina Denaro? Last Godfather represented all the secrets of Cosa Nostra. Sky News, Italy's most wanted Mafia boss Matteo Messina Denaro arrested after 30 years on the run, BBC News. BBC News, illness is what ultimately snared Italy's top Mafia fugitive. Reuters, Italy's most wanted mafia boss Matteo Messina Denaro arrested in Sicily. BBC, people on the streets cheer as Italy's most wanted mafia boss is arrested. Ukraine News, live, Russia sanctions James cleverly over war as German defense minister resigns. The Independent, British foreign minister seeks to bolster Ukraine support on North American trip. Voice of America, VOA News, 
James cleverly urges Washington to go further and faster with Ukraine. The Telegraph, Russia sanctions James cleverly over war as German defense minister resigns, latest. The Independent, James cleverly aims to persuade US and Canada to send tanks to Ukraine on trip to North America. China's economy slows sharply with GDP growth among worst on record. The Guardian, COVID, China 2022 economic growth hit by coronavirus restrictions. BBC, China's economy expands 3% in 2022 as zero COVID policies hit growth. Financial Times, China's population falls for first time in more than 60 years. The Guardian, China's economy grew 3% last year, not even half 2021's rate. Ukraine, death toll rises from Russian missile strike on Dnipro. The Guardian, Russian strike on Dnipro kills at least 40 in deadliest attack of Ukraine war. ITV News, Ukraine's Dnipro reels as Russia, Belarus hold military drills. Al Jazeera English, Ukraine missile toll rises to 36, Russia denies attack. The Moscow Times, rescuers scramble to aid survivors of deadly Russian strike on Dnipro apartment block. Nepal plane crash, live, toll rises to 70 as searches fly drones to find last two passengers. The Independent, Nepal air crash, Indian passengers video caught planes last moments. BBC, Nepal plane crash unlikely to have survivors, officials say, BBC News. BBC News, opinion, how aerodynamic stall and propeller low pitch condition could have led to Nepal plane crash. News 18, Nepal plane crash highlights country's air safety issues, dangers. This was all for the news. Thanks for listening. Please do not forget to like and subscribe.